Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another Star Wars Lego review. This time we've got Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. This is from the first quarter of 2017. It is set 75168. It has 262 pieces and it's a cool set. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I have, since I'm only relatively new to collecting Lego, I've yet to get a Yoda minifig. Um, and I'm glad I waited because I think this one's come out before. He came out with the Dooku set a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, I've yet to get a Yoda set. Um, so I'm really excited to have Yoda in my minifigure collection. And another R2 as well, which is really cool. So, you can see the box. Nice artwork. Lego always do such a good job of uh, all their pictures and stuff. It's really good. So on the back gives you a bit of a rundown of all the features. On the bottom, you just got all the other bits and pieces on the sides of all the pictures as well. And then a one to one picture of the minifigure of Yoda, which is really good. I'm a big fan of this set. It probably it wasn't a big build, um, but it was it was fun. Um, might have taken me about 30 minutes to put together. Um, pretty simple build, but a good one. Really nice and rewarding. Um, and it looks nice on the shelf. I'm going to get a nice little stand for it. Um, let's have a look at the minifigs. So here we've got R2-D2. We've seen this one a few times. Okay. So nice printing. I'm waiting for the day they start doing printing on the legs and on the back. I assume that'll be his next upgrade um, for the minifigs. But otherwise R2 is pretty sweet. We've seen, definitely seen some worse ones. But this one's pretty good. Um, so this one's been out for a couple of years now. Um, and, and it's holding up okay. So I think they'll pretty stick with him. So R2. And Yoda. He comes with his lightsaber. Go focus. A nice printing on the torso there for his robes. I'm also waiting for the day that they start doing movable mini legs. I think that would be sweet. I don't think it'll happen. It's a bit too fiddly, but... And on the back, it's more printing in his hood. It's love his grey hair. Sort of got that sort of rubbery head that a few of the mini figs have got. Um, as opposed to a solid plastic, I think that works well. So this is a Yoda. If you drop him, you don't want to, or step on him, you don't want those ears to break off. So that works out quite well, and he looks super cute. It's a great minifigure. The lightsaber. He's great. And onto his Starfighter. Now we saw this Starfighter at the end of the Clone Wars with the Lost Missions. And, uh, Yoda go, take, goes with R2 um, on a bit of a bit of an adventure to basically Yoda's Force adventure. <laughs> I can't think of any better words to put it at the moment, but it, they were a great bunch of episodes. It was basically Yoda's sort of awakening that there was more to the Force and more to the Jedi than winning the war, and um, that's sort of his turning point to when he became. Yoda that we meet in the Empire Strikes Back. And I'm just going to move that out the back so we can really focus in on this thing. Because it's a great little starfighter. It looks really nice next to Obi-Wan's and Anakin's that we've had in recent years. Um, we had... Uh, I'm trying to remember. We had Obi-Wan's last year and Anakin's the, the year before. We've had a few over the years, but these are the first three that I've got. And this one I like. I really like this one. So we've got these little side wings that do flip down. Like that. I do want to get a little stand for it, just so it sits sits up in flight mode. I think it would look really cool. So he's only got a little cockpit. This is where R2 sits up there. So he's got the little, little brick there that he sits on. <clears throat> sits up there okay I think if that was built up a little bit higher which is an easy easy mod, mod if you wanted to 
just to have him sort of so it looks like R2 is concealed a bit more. So you got the thrusters, you got the flick missiles, which I generally don't display them with it. Um, also get the little you can get the little stud things that with the holes that you can sort of put over the end of things and usually you can slide them right up the end and that stops the missiles from flicking out and yet you can still just have them sort of sitting in there with the green studs at the front but you now this front sort of view screen almost the TIE fighter window flicks down and this one flips up and Yoda simply just sits in there Fortunately, there's nowhere to really keep his lightsaber. You can take out the hilt and sit it in there, but there's not really a lot of room in there. And that doesn't close, so you can't really keep that in there, um, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a pity, but he does fit in there really nicely. You can't really see him in there. You can see me. But pop him out. I tend to display my minifigures sort of outside their ships. Um, I, just, I just really like the minifigures, so I tend to just put them in front of the set. If not, if I can feature it in with the set, with the display, um, I'll do that too. But for about $35, $40, this is a pretty good set. That's pricing here in Australia. I'm sure it's around $25 to $30 in the States. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what pricing is like in the UK um, throughout Britain and all that so um, I'd have to research that a little bit more but all I know is Lego is a little bit cheaper in the US which is which is cool um, but over here this is this was $39 at Kmart so Kmart's and Big W's are generally the best place to get these here in Australia um, they're generally the cheapest. Target's a little bit more. Toys R Us is a little bit more. Myers are a little bit more. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm happy with forty dollars anymore. Forty, I might be waiting for a sale. But yeah, if you like it, definitely recommend this set. It's cool. I'm just trying to work out how to keep this camera going. But yeah, for about almost two fifty to three hundred parts, it's pieces it's pretty good it was a good fun little build anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this lego review i don't do many of them and i'd like to do more um so i'll try and try and break the break a few in here but uh yeah thank you very much for watching let me know what you think thought let me know what your thoughts are below i'll learn how to talk next time i swear anyway guys may the force be with you